That was interesting. I got a pilot script from somebody uh, of Hogan's Heroes, and it was a very, I thought, a very uh, strange, interesting idea, but it was a terrible script. Oh, I sent it to CBS, and they loved the idea, and they didn't mind the script. But I, th I thought, oh, this has got to be improved. So I said to Hans Stromberg, who was head of CBS out here, I said, listen, do you mind if I just uh, get someone to do a little polishing, a little, just a little polish? Oh, fine, he said. So I hired a whole other writer and wrote a whole other script, which they never noticed. I mean, they never noticed that it was another script. They still loved it. The point was that the, our script had been rewritten, and it was a better script, and they made the pilot. It was also a Bing Crosby production, and uh, CBS did it, and uh, it became a, a great success. And as a matter of fact, it's still running. I think 30 years later, it's still still going. That was I, in 1965 at that time. Well, yeah. more than 30 years. It's amazing. Did you, were you involved in the casting of that show? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ethel Winant was the head of casting at CBS, and she and I together cast it. Bob Crane, she and I did that together at CBS. We had a, um, a videotape of Bob Crane that it was a test and we ran it ethel and i were in the main uh, video room of cbs and we we put it into all the offices they all have television sets and we played the test for everybody in the executive group at cbs at the same time at the same moment and we waited to hear from them how, how soon did you hear after oh immediately <laughs>